If you know me, you know that I don't buy in a ton to the whole AI craze, and I'm a little skeptical about a lot of the generative models out there, but I have found an awesome application of AI, kind of generative AI, to use with Geospatial that's actually very useful and user-controlled and updated. So let's take a look at the AI vectorization tool put out by Bunting Labs, and we can get a QGIS plugin for this tool to help us automate digitizing vector features from maps. Let's go ahead and get started. To get started, we're going to first uh, need to install a plugin. So if you go to Plugins, Manage, and Install Plugins, and up here in all plugins, search for Bunting Labs AI Vectorizer. You can see that I already have it installed. You'll need to install that plugin. When you do, it's going to, uh, before you use it, you're going to have to create an account with Bunting Labs because this tool uses their servers to perform this vectorization. And there are some, there's a free version without entering any payment information, but there's a limit to the number of completions you can do. So once you have this installed, we're ready to get going. Now you won't see an icon for the plugin at, plug at first. We have to do a couple things before we can get to that point. So let's go ahead and create a new vector layer. So we'll do layer. I'm going to create a layer and I'm going to make a new geo package layer. I'm going to call this AI test and we're going to start by working with some polygons. And so I'm going to set polygons. I'm going to give this a, ge a polygon geometry, and I'm going to set my CRS to my project CRS. My project CRS is unnamed, and that is because I'm using just a geo PDF, um, or it's actually a TIFF file that is not geo-referenced. Um, we don't need it to be geo-referenced for this example, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to overwrite this because I already created this when I practiced earlier. Okay, so we have this polygons layer. Now, the way that the AI vectorizer works is when we click edit on this polygon layer, you'll now see this icon over here, um, vectorize with AI, show up on your toolbar. And if we click this, it's going to allow us to create features and digitize segments. Okay, so all I do is click this, I don't need anything else. Make sure I have edit turned on for my polygon layer. Then I come over and vectorize with AI. And now I'm gonna zoom in on this lake over here and we're gonna try to digitize the boundary of this lake. So the way I use this vectorizing tool is I just start vectorizing. So I'm gonna basically make one line segment. So two clicks. And when I do that, this automatic tool, I have to do three clicks. Now you can see my search bar, my bar working down here at the bottom. This tool should start going here in just a sec. Maybe it's not gonna work now that I'm trying to record it. There it goes. It took just a minute, but you can see that it's kicking off now. And you'll notice that it went the wrong way, so I'm gonna push shift now. I'm gonna hold down shift. I'm gonna move this X up to here, and I'm gonna click where I want this to go for a minute, and I'm gonna let shift off, and it should, I'm gonna click one more time, and it should start working again here. And there you can see that it's now working. We're gonna cross this contour line, it navigated that, and then I can, it's gonna keep going, but I can shift and bring it back and right click to complete that polygon. And now I have a polygon that AI digitized for me, and that worked out super well. So that's how you can do this with polygons. And we're gonna save those edits to our polygon layer. And we'll turn off editing. And now we can create a lines feature and digitize the stream that comes out of the lake. So let's go ahead and go to layer, create a layer, a new geo package layer. I'm gonna put it in the same database. So AI test, and I'm gonna call this lines. And the geometry will be a line string. And we'll put this back once again to unnamed and say, okay, I'm going to add this layer to the existing geo package. And there we have lines. Now, when I click edit here, once again, my vector edge with the AI tool comes up and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to start vectorizing along this line. Once again, you can see that QGIS is working in the background and we have an issue. 
it's kind of bounced backwards along this line. So if I hold down shift and bring this to here and then come back this way and make a couple more lines, this should continue vectorizing along that stream. And when I get done, I can hold shift to click on a lot on a spot and right click to finish that line. Um, let's save that edit and let's just adjust the symbology of that line really quickly, turn off editing so that we can um, see it a little better. Let's turn on layer styling, uh, change this color to a good blue color for our stream and change the width. Let's go up a few clicks here and there you have it. Now you can see that we've successfully digitized this lake and this stream without doing very much. You can imagine that if we have a long line uh, that's not encumbered by other lines, this could be very, very useful. Now, I want to point out a couple of things that you want to know about this before continuing on. The first is that the free plan for this is quite limited. You only get 2,000 completions per month. One completion is a single segment. So I probably have at least 50 to 100 completions just by doing those two very small features. So if you want to do any kind of production with this, you're going to have to go to Bunting Labs and look into um, a paid plan. I am not sponsored by them. I get no kickback from them in any way. I'm just showing this because it's a really cool use of AI. The second thing to know is it's not fully automated. As you can see, um, there are places where this is going to mess up because it doesn't know which line to follow. And that makes sense. The great news is you can hold down that shift key, move it back, and digitize around those areas and let it keep going. So this is not, com you're going to need to provide some supervision for this, but it can really speed up the digitizing with some of these features. As you can imagine, there are going to be places where this doesn't work. You can see that we crossed a contour line here with the stream without much trouble. If we were crossing lots of contour lines with complicated, complex features and some of these topo maps, it might get difficult to do. Like you can imagine if you're trying to digitize this green forested area with that tool, um, you might have a lot, you might do a lot of corrections in it. So that's one of the caveats here. But overall, I think this is a really cool use of AI um, to automate a tedious task uh, and to provide a lot of value using some of these artificial intelligence and deep learning methods that we see a lot with ChatGPT. Um, and those are some of the things that make me really skeptical, but applications like this are a great use the technology. So hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you find this useful. Uh, get out there and keep doing GIS.